So I'm here with Gord Gavrilovich, who's the manager of the Space and Facilities Renewal. Is that yeah, the correct, correct title at, yeah. at the University of Guelph? Mm -hmm. And we're talking about the campus plan that you've been introduced to a couple times already in this unit. And we've got an opportunity in some of Gord's day here to talk about what that actually is, how it started, and what role it plays within the campus community. And then specifically, uh, as you've are learning about how that affects the natural areas uh, on campus. So I guess, Gord, one of the first questions would be, what is the campus master plan and, um, and maybe some of the history behind its role here on the, on the university campus? Sure. Um, the campus master plan is, uh, it, it's like a vision for, for the university campus and it's, it, it's a vision that's stretched over a long period, uh, typically f uh, 50 years. So it looks at uh, what are the needs of the campus uh, going forward up to 50 years and it looks at things like uh, transportation needs, getting around the campus, uh, wayfinding, uh, how the campus is presented to the community and to people coming towards the campus and obviously what are the academic needs as far as new buildings, uh, looks at landscape, you know, preserving um, valued places on campus and enhancing valued places as well as looking at uh, natural heritage areas on campus mm -hmm. uh, and preserving those as well. Um, we look at the campus master plan uh, every 10 years. Uh, we, we do a thorough analysis of the needs of the university at that time and again look forward as far ahead as possible. Um, so the campus, it, uh, the master plan itself kind of supports the University of Guelph's academic mission. Mm -hmm. uh, it's informed by the integrated plan which looks at uh, new programs coming in place and what the future needs of uh, specific programs are. Uh, it enhances the image and experience uh, uh, for people on campus mm -hmm. and that's uh, uh, looking at things like uh, walkways and paths and uh, uh, open spaces and stuff like that. Uh, Guelph is well known for its campus and open spaces and we want to maintain that and enhance that. Uh, it fosters uh, a better campus to achieve sustainability. Mm -hmm. uh, again, looking at natural areas and open spaces and integrating into our new buildings any uh, sustainable uh, construction practices and uh, green practices like um, uh, solar power and stuff like that. We, we will be looking at a lot of those different aspects in the future when we look at new buildings. So the long term, I mean that, that's a real challenge for any organization to look to have a plan but a really great challenge to, to look with a 50 year kind of a, a set of binoculars down, down the road. But doing it every ten years. The most recent one is is 2013. Is That's that correct? Right? And yeah. then, do you remember what like what were would you categorize as some of the big changes that you that would have come in within developing the 2013 plan compared to the last one? Like was were residential spaces a big change? Were parking spaces or, or access like is there anything that? Um. There, there, there were a lot of changes uh, coming from the previous plan. Uh, athletics mm -hmm. uh, needs have increased. Uh, the campus has grown. Uh, more students on campus. Yeah. Uh, a lot of uh, a new teaching building was built uh, during that ten-year span. Mm -hmm. uh, the science building was built. Uh, a, a couple of buildings on the OVC side were built. Yeah. So it's an increase in the capacity of, of students. Uh, we haven't uh, developed any new uh, residential areas other than uh, the townhouses on East Campus. Right. Um, and I think we, we have enough capacity on the residential site going forward for the next you know, 10 to 20 years, I think. Yeah. Um, those are the major things that have changed. Yeah. Uh, what we are looking at moving forward is actually maintaining what we have and improving what we have mm -hmm. because we do have a lot of nice 
um, historic buildings on campus and we want to make sure that they are well maintained and well used. Uh, and also we want to enhance the image of the campus and, and, and uh, better present our, our, uh, our entrance to the campus to the community and people coming from, from other cities. Yeah. Uh, an example of that is the, the Griffin Project at the South End of Campus. Yeah. That was something that was identified in this plan and we've already implemented that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, the, the natural areas or the woodlots that, that, that ever we've been reading about, the, including the dairy bush and the, arbor, the woodlots within the Arboretum, uh, Browns Woods and the North Campus Ravine, maybe uh, could you tell us a little bit about the, um, some of the thoughts and how those natural areas, how the campus plan is designed to both you mentioned protect and enhance, but that how how the, how the natural areas fall into that into that. Well, we're Vision. yeah we're fully aware uh, of these natural areas, and we were um, fully aware of them when we went into this process and, and developed the, uh, the most recent ca uh, campus master plan. Um, we want to maintain them, uh, but we also need to. Uh, increase capacity on campus going forward in the next 50 years so there will be development around these areas mm -hmm. but um, we want to uh, keep as far away from the natural areas with uh, with our new developments so not to interfere with uh, the natural environment there and any natural processes happening there uh, so within the campus master plan these um, these uh, distances or, or um, barriers mm -hmm. that need to be put in place are identified uh, with any new deve potential development around those areas. Mm -hmm. So we we want to keep them, maintain them, and but we also need to be aware that we do have to develop around them. Mm -hmm. uh, and so those developments are, are around, so they're occurring and the, and the distances that, that, you, that the plan talks about, those are developed uh, or, I suppose, implemented under the auspices of the provincial legislation and, and, the, and the cities. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we adhere to the standards set in place by, by the province and the city. Yeah. Uh, the city has their own um, official plan for, for development and, and areas and those areas are also identified in their plan as yeah. natural areas and uh, our, our plan is informed by their plan and right. their plan is informed by our plan. Sure. So what, what we plan to do in the future they're aware of and what their guidelines and, and, um, and regulations are we, we kind of maintain in the plan. Yeah. yeah. And so and then yeah. I guess some of the specifics about for example the, the field that's adjacent to the dairy bush that development is that something that the university the plan it's it's integrated into the campus plan yeah. but the development itself is that something that the university would be doing or that the university or that someone outside the university would be doing um, the the university initially thought of developing that area on its own uh, but uh, it, it makes sense for that area since it is uh, so close to the city mm -hmm. Uh, there's a lot of residential areas around there um, that perhaps uh, if it's opened up to a private developer they can develop some kind of commercial spaces along with the needs of the university. Uh, the university needs would be probably on the residence side right. uh, and it could be either university owned residence or it could be um, uh, kind of off campus type residence. Like at the other, the, yeah. at the south end. You know. yeah. And there, there could be a potential for some academic spaces, uh, kind of off-campus academic spaces that would be required. Mm -hmm. But um, the university feels that it, it might be better developed by a, a private developer, so they, they are exploring those options and, and offering it up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's great. So, <laughs> I guess, go ahead. I was just going to say some of the other spaces, uh, with the Brown Woods area, mm -hmm. which is close to the OVC uh, part of the campus. Again, uh, OVC has their own master plan, which is quite extensive. They want to expand their capabilities uh, and um, 
those are those are uh, kind of asked for by the province, mm -hmm. as well as the needs of uh, more and more students want to get into those type of programs. So they have uh, uh, a plan that kind of expands their their requirements, but we've always maintained that the Brown Woods area is not part of that development plan. So development would happen around it, similar to the dairy bush, right. but we would keep the proper distances away from that area. Right. Um, same would happen with the Arboretum. We would not develop into the Arboretum. We would definitely stop uh, before the Ar Arboretum. Uh, and the, the ravine area, even though we would like to expand parking in mm -hmm. that area, we are aware that uh, that is a protected area and the city uh, has made that quite clear to us yeah. uh, and we our plan kind of shows nothing happening in that area right yeah so that's I mean that layers of complexity upon complexity but they we touched on there that the OVC has a so there's the campus master plan the OVC has a master plan okay. the athletic or athletics has their own master plan uh, that they'd like to see implemented right. and part of that is actually happening right now with the expansion yeah. to Mitchell uh, center. Yeah. Um, the Arboretum yeah. has, has their own master plan yeah. and that looks at um, mostly how their uh, f forests are maintained mm -hmm. and, and uh, tree species and all that. Uh, there's some minor uh, need for, for buildings in that area but uh, it's mostly maintaining the natural areas. Yeah. 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 And we, all of those kind of inform this master, all of those aspects are in this master plan. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and so it's a great. So as you've seen, because it's online and every they've everybody's everybody has looked at the links <laughs> online. I'm sure. Yeah. 